Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Dwarf Fortress. So as you can see, uh, of our uh, now remaining 18 dwarves, we have six of them that are uh, quite... Well, three of them are critical. The other th three are they're fine. Um, so that's that's a problem. You can see our, our uh, med bay is, is rather full. Um, Silencer is still dead in the staircase for some reason, even though he's not being dumped. Um, we So we still have... I think we've got like two elf merchants left. We have Soza and Kadem. And is that it? Yeah, that's it. Um, so I think what we're going to do, probably the best thing to do here, is probably just to lock these guys away. Um, and then just let them be. We're not going to go in there. We could go in there and probably easily kill them. Let's see. Let's see what happens here. What was happening? What was that? Um, the recruit strangles the human pikeman's throat. Human recruit places a chokehold on the human pikeman's throat. With the recruit's right upper leg, uh, recruit's right upper leg, Abel, who's Abel? Is he one of my people? Oh, he is. Wait, who's he fighting? Oh, he's standing right here fighting one of the humans. Is he? No, not anymore. Okay. So we still have this merchant hanging out here. I can't trade with these guys, of course. I'm wondering, though, the, all this gear, how do I make it claimed by me? Do I just, like, reclaim items and uh, and take it? I'm thinking that might just be what happens. Once they're all dead, then surely it's all my gear. Right. I hope so. So we'll just do that and see if it works. We're going to let them just stay in there. I guess they're not going to run away. So we'll just let them hang out in there until we get patched up a little better. Then we can go finish them off. But uh, we only got 18 dwarves now. Uh, I think what we need to do next few, do the next few, few times is uh, uh, take it slow and uh, patch ourselves up. We have a lot of dead elves laying around. We can't really build or grow anything. Not great. We can't really do any building or anything because we are uh, mostly dead. We're also attempting to kill a lot of these uh, chicks over here because we have uh, a, a chick apocalypse happening at the moment. So we're going to sort of let the game run. Hopefully we'll get some of those chicks slaughtered. It'll speed the frame rate up a bit. And uh, hope for some migrants. It is the fall. I wonder if I should build another trade depot. Do I need a trade depot immediately? I could buy another anvil. I could certainly use that. What's this guy doing? Who's this? That's Julio. Okay. Oh, I guess we, I guess we are hauling things out. You can see we're going in there. We're grabbing things and hauling it out. I guess we are taking it. I don't remember, I don't remember if I actually selected to siege, seize things or not. Maybe I did. I don't remember. So yeah, he's just hanging out here and we're coming in and grabbing stuff. What's he got? He has a large hemp rope. Is that what that said? I think so. Oh, large hemp hood. That's just what was laying there. I'm not sure what we're picking up out here. See, now that guy just carried some silk into here. Why did you do that? Yeah, both my human merchants are standing right here. Oh! Oh, the dwarves have arrived. Dwarven caravan has arrived. Um, That's a problem. Let's build another one. Um, it's going to have to be out here. Hopefully we can build it quickly. Get this thing built quickly. Do I have a dwarf that's doing architecture? What was it? Construction inactive. Everybody build things. I want to make sure I get that done. Where are they? Oh, are they going to come in here? Oh, they are. Because they didn't bring any wagons. They're just bringing their horses. Oh, look at that. Okay. Well, never mind then. Uh, remove. Are they present? Okay. So they're gonna come. They're gonna come in here and drop off their stuff along with the elves. We don't. We're not, we don't fight our our own kind. The uh, the dwarves are just fine. We let them be. We can move some things. Here, we have lots of stuff that's already here. We don't have a broker. 
Who wants to broker? Anybody? Who's my best broker? Let's take a look here. Uh, traits. Uh, rules. We've got... Oh, we have an 80 here. Who's the 80? Sun Ike. Uh, you just have a minor health issue, so you can certainly get in there. Where are you? Where are you? There you are. Sonic is my broker and manager. He's a busy guy. But we will call him in. And you know what we should trade? I have a lot of things around here that are that are large. All of this stuff. I should just do all of this large things. Uh, shift enter. Ah. Is that it? Just, uh, well, maybe more. Oh, yeah, we have lots of this. Now, some of these things, like I did see there's a large copper breastplate that we could melt down and, and make it into our size. But copper's not really a big deal. We have copper. So we'll just sell it. And we'll get some cash out of it. Look at all those. Large shirts. I mean, yeah, we have a lot of uh, human things. I don't know where it came from. It's already laying here, just in zero. Uh, look at all of it. Uh, we'll just do that. They won't be able to carry much because they don't have any wagons. But we'll see what we can get out of these dwarves. Uh, the, yeah, dwarves. Now, if we could get... Um, proper armor would be nice. Looks like some steel armor of some kind. Um, another anvil might be nice. We could have two metalworks going on. Because we have, we have a lot of gold that we're dealing with, and we also have the copper that we're trying to mess with. And hopefully one day, we will have uh, iron and stone. Uh, uh, steel. A week ago, Adenek, might work to became exhibition leader of the Slippery Hatchets. Replacing poor Nook. Um, so is there anything that I want of yours for next time? I could have you make me bars. No, I just... Yes, do bring me an anvil. Only steel. There's no iron, dead Um Weapons I'm okay with. Body wear. Give me some some whoops. Some breastplates. And helms. Yes, give me all of this stuff. I'm okay with instruments. Cages, no. That's good. So next time, bring me that stuff, because that's what I want. You want... Oh, you want war hammers, eh? I might have some. But I don't care what you want. I'm going to give you lots of things anyways. Is he not, is he not there yet? Sun Mike, get there. Is he in uh, the med bay? He's only lightly injured. Oh, there's only one guy left in there, and it's core. Cool. Okay, very cool. We're feeling... We're getting the feeling better. Uh, we won't kill that human until... Uh, after these dwarves leave. We don't want to run them off like we did last time. Now, we could buy some seeds from them, which might be a good idea. What's their weight they can carry? They carry 685, which isn't much. Oh, you can't... Oh, you, I can't... Oh, I can't give you those. Well, that's a shame. I'm just going to give you as much as you can carry. Dingo leather shoes. Why can't you take the red ones? They're all the large metal things. Well, not all of them are, though. Where's my weight? I can't see my weight of what all this stuff is. Uh, well, we'll just do these and see if you can handle them. Um, and we'll see if you have an anvil. Alright. So we've got... We've got that book. Let's see if you have... Oops. Steel anvil for 300. Yes, I will take one. 
What else do you have? You have, um... Anything else that's steel? Puzzle boxes. Steel spear is kind of cool. How much uh, value we have? Oh, wait. Allowed weight. Was I, was I looking at something wrong? 7488 is what it says now. Trader profit, 598. Steel shields. Steel boots. Steel battle axe. A nice one. That's two grand, though. We can't afford that much. Let's take a look at... Plump helmet spawn. I'll take those. Dumple cups. Two plump helmets. Um... Is there anything else that I desperately need from you? Not that I know of. Um, I think we're okay. Copper greaves, copper chain leggings, we can make these things. But we'll we'll just take that. That's good enough. Trade. I'm willing to trade. Perhaps you just consider the superior proposal. Uh you want those as well? Did I not mark them? Okay. Deal. Oh, those are worth a lot. Why can he, why can't I select it but you can? I'm confused about why this happens. Um Okay, fine. Can I have something else? Give me your kangaroo leather backpack. Perfect. Okay. Thanks, buddy. Nice doing business with you. I will take your seed. Oops, wrong one. I want R. That's the one I'm looking for. Okay. Now we'll continue on. And these the L or the the human is still just hanging out there. I keep calling them elves for some reason, but the human is still just hanging out there for some reason. Um, I'm not sure why they're not running away. I guess they want to stay with their caravan, even though it's uh, been taken. So we have several uh, animals here that we're attempting to slaughter, and we will eventually. I think we have somebody on butchering. Let me make sure here. Butcher, butcher, butcher. Um. Butchery. I have a few folks on it. Abel, Juan, you get on it too. I want to make sure we get these things taken care of. We do have lots of dead dwarves. Who's here? Fudge Lame is dead. Um, now, this is going to be full soon. Oh, who's dead in here? Is it just a oh? There's a rot, rotten dog meat. Is that what's that's what's doing it? Really? Probably because he did. He brought some food in and decided to not to not eat it. That job needs to stop. There we go. We have much more important things to be doing. Right now. It looks cool though. I'll give you that. Let's see, is, uh, yeah, Kor is still in there. Um, as soon as the dwarves leave, then we'll kill the human off. I think we're, we're good enough that we can, we can do that. Um, I don't want to run them off though and scare them and make them never come back again. There's not really much we can, we can do. We've got so many jobs that we're trying to do right now, and we just don't have any dwarves because we're all dead. Walk through here, right? 
Yeah. Check it out. We are actually planting some things. Plump helmets are being planted, finally. We can even do some dimple cups if we want. And how is our honey looking? I think the problem is still something to do with jugs, which we weren't making for some reason. Is he making it? Um, is he making it now? Gillespie? Jugs? Jugs? Gillespie's making jugs. You jug it up, Gillespie. Yeah, there he goes. I don't know where you went, but I'm sure it was somewhere excellent. I hope it was. Because I want mead. Now, the uh, I did check the hives. The hives, oh, that one's ready to be split. But a lot of them, they did get done. So there's wax somewhere. Maybe there just wasn't enough to get all of them done. But we have the wax, which we should, you squeeze this thing, and we should put it into jugs. Uh, one takes wax, one takes honey. Should work like that. Puppies are getting slaughtered. Good. Puppies are getting slaughtered. Very good. I mean, we do have... It is a rather lively uh, looking tavern. We've got... We've got three folks in here now. Two of them are... are no one's staying, but... Oh, we got three. There's one over Jonu. Not a lot of activity going on at the... Temple. But... Everything that needs to be done is, is being done. This one's looking okay. And this one's looking really good. What's this? Mittens and caps. I think we're just coming in here and picking things up to throw in our, our stockpiles. Which, did we ever mine uh, this out? We got a little bit of it done to make more room in here in our furniture stockpile. So we can uh, do a little more of that. Which was it, you? Yeah. Give him some place to stash that stuff. Who's that? Is that Julio? Yeah, where are you going, buddy? Going to grab some soap? Where are you going with it? Where'd he go? I don't know where he's going with it. Where is he? Is he in here? Clean self. Oh, oh, okay. Ran to the, you got some soap, ran to the river to clean yourself. Excellent. Was this a weasel? Yeah. Anything else harmful out there? There's lots of troglodytes. We can't really do anything to... Uh, this seems to be it. We have some caged chinchilla corpses, which we're not afraid of them. Okay, so you just had to have a bath. And we do really need to make some way of getting, uh, like a well going in here. So we, we have the aquifer that we could, we could tap into. Um, or we could tap into the river. Either way, we can just, we can like dig a hole... Maybe we'll do a bridge, open the bridge, let the water flow in, close the bridge, and then just we'll have a pool that we can get our well to. Where's everybody going? I did unforbid a lot of stuff out here, so they're probably coming out and picking up all this junk that's laying around outside. Yeah, they're picking up... Oh, they're picking up all the gear. Oh, that's what's going on. That's gear they're picking up. Gotcha. And there's all the gear laying around the fort. I just, I just uh, unforbid. Plus all the things that are in here that they, they just grabbed. They are grabbing. Ah, I gotcha. On the bright side of having 18 dwarves, we, uh, we uh, can't get um, sieged. <laughs> Hopefully we have a good, uh, a good migrant wave come in. We've got, look at our wealth, almost 600 grand. Where is it all coming from? Architecture is a lot. Architecture is probably the, is the most from our golden walls, I'm guessing. Displayed would probably be our statues. 
Uh, nice furniture. Yep. Yeah. Adamant cannot extract plants. I have a lot of puppies up here that need to get slaughtered, which they are. So we're moving along, and you can see the frame rate is slowly on the rise. Even it's gone up like 10 points just with the few slaughters that we've done. Troglodyte, where? Who's down here with you? Oh, you, did you fall? He must have fallen off the... There's no one here. He must have fallen off the cliff there. <laughs> Stupid troglodyte. I'm starting to collect. I'd like to someone, send someone to kill you. Sadly, Hayes White died. He was a really good military dwarf. Where is our military status? Uh, military. We've got... Cake Lord is still pretty good. He's a nice spear dwarf. He's really the only one that's that's around that's that's still a good fighter. Um, Brutes has some skill, has some kills anyway. He doesn't really have skills. He has kills. Core is a good fighter. Wrestler. So Core's not bad. Core, Kick Lord, Julio. Hmm. Julio's not a. Oh, I lost a war dog. Can I put Julio into my military? No. Julio is still just a uh, a minstrel. Well, I would love to build more things, but uh, we've got to just get things under control and get folks out of the med bay, which looks like everyone is is out, which is good. So that's looks like we're taken care of as far as health. Anybody still? We still have a couple critical issues. Let's see what they are. So Jimmy has a broken leg. Core is thirsty. He has lots of wounds in his left side. And his right. <laughs> Actually, his lower front teeth are missing. <laughs> okay. Uh, sorry, buddy. That nerve damage. What's missing? Is it just the front teeth? Yeah. Oh, his lower and his upper teeth are missing. <laughs> he cannot grasp. He cannot stand. Motor nerve severed. Sensory nerve severed. Thirsty. Where is he? A llama's been missing for a week. Who was that? That was Kor? Um, did Kor die? No, there he is. He's drinking. Good. It says you can't stand, but... Oh, you probably can't stand. You're laying right there. Maybe you got out of bed and then fell over? Somebody gonna help you out? Somebody doctoring? Yeah, we have, we have multiples on every one of these, so. Well, help us on the way, buddy. I don't know how much use you are to the fort anymore, but... Um, it's kind of important to have you around. What was? What did we just get? Where are we digging? Oh, here we are, just getting some gold. Okay. Good job, Gillespie. Again, that's a job we probably don't necessarily need to be doing right now, but... but we're going to continue doing it. We have zero idlers, of course. Man, this is like a, a big empty fort now. It's kind of sad. And there's our plump hump seeds. So the dwarves are leaving soon. As soon as they come out, we'll, we'll clear out the humans. Um... And then see if we can just claim the rest of this stuff. We have a lot of dwarves. Oh, that's those dwarves hanging around in there. A drake is fighting. I think that was my hunter shooting him. Yeah. Oh, you got him. Nice job. Who's that? Devstrom. Well done, buddy. Oh, 
Blah, blah, blah. He's fighting a dog. And looks like poet's in there too. Did you get him? I hope that's not a dead poet. Is that just a dead silencer, right? Okay. I'm gonna call the military in. War dog is. Oh, they killed my war dog. Make sure no one else is dying. Okay. Anyone pick up core yet? Core. Get out of the furniture or the the <laughs> get out of the finished good stock pile. Finished good G. And we're gonna go grab all of this. And make it more finished goods, which we have we have room soon. We can go ahead and expand. I'm guessing we're going to be getting some more once we finally clear out that uh, trade depot. Cannot plant interrupted by a troglodyte. Oh. Hmm. So they cannot plant seeds interrupted by a troglodyte. I'm guessing it's from the other troglodyte. All right, Shintasid was our, our dwarves that are now leaving. As soon as they will wave the wave goodbye, farewell. We're a nice, peaceful people. We uh, we never meant any harm to anyone. All right, are they gone yet? We got a, we got a straggler here. Thob. Oh, his name's Thob. Oh, we should keep Thob. All right. Let's finish being terrible people. Kill humans. No, it what? It, it doesn't matter. A yak bull has gone berserk again. What, did you miss and like hit the yak bull or something? <laughs> There's a yak cow running around crazed. Okay. Don't kill my people. What is going on? Where's this yak bull at? There it is. Kill the yak bull. I'm more scared of it than I am the humans. Jimmy, how you feeling? Strikes the yak bull in the head with her copper buckler. Bruising the muscle. Okay, he's, it must be down. Yeah, it's certainly down. We're just beating it to death. Good job, guys. Okay, there should be more humans around here. Um, oh, no, there's not. Oh, did we get him? Oh, we got one. Is, no, no, Luke is a visitor. No, don't kill the visitors. What's fighting now? Oh, Yak Bull is still around. Did we anger another one? Where is this dang Yak Bull? I'm a little worried that Yak Bull had a name. That means he killed somebody. Really? Did someone else die? We're gonna find out here in a second. Who just died? Oh yeah, Luke is visiting. Don't kill that guy. It's right here. I can't tell who it is, though. Spatterings of lots of bloods. Oh, Peter's there. Peter died before, didn't he? Now, are these our humans or these our visitors? Oh, he's just a visitor. Uh, hey, hey, hey buddy. Hey. How's it going? <laughs> uh, I think we got all of our merchants now. Right? Yak cow, yak cow, yak bull. Our merchants still. Um, I don't know what to do with them. Are they still, like... Potter, are you fighting? A yak bull. Alright, so these should be all our items. So we should be running in there and picking them up. All the humans are dead. We're done with our, our um, horrible, horrible things we've done. Our dirty deeds. For now. Frame rate's up to 63. Up to 64 frames per second. 
And I need to put a cut here. Thanks again for watching this uh, horribly evil base that we have constructed. But on the good news, we have seeds now. We should have some migrants showing up. It is fall, so typically there's migrants that show up every season. Not necessarily, but, but usually. Oh, what's in here? Table. A oh, rotten dog meat. Okay. So we should have some folks showing up, and then we'll be back back to normal. But uh, yeah, it's probably gonna be a couple a slow couple episodes while we don't do much other than uh, deal with drawthas. Oh, you're going after them. Nice job, Devstrom. Nice job. Yeah. Yeah. Show that, Drawtha. Hey, right, thanks for watching. Uh, I guess we didn't lose anybody to the Yak Bowl. I'm not sure. He must have killed somebody, though. He has a name, unless it was somebody's pet. Which is possible. Anyway, thank you for watching. I uh, will see you next time.